mark 36 parameter form success law. Uh, form underscore success. This is a uh, exception handling. Now we we'll see what is called uh, parameter, how to use the parameter in the uh, form builder. The parameter is nothing but the you can reference and set the values of form parameter using blind variable syntax. To reference a parameter, how we can reference the name should be colon parameter dot name. This is a syntax. We can single quotes. We can tell what is the name of the parameter. Otherwise, I have given the department dot department number is equal to parameter dot this number. This way, you can assign the parameter to the particular uh, block. This is block name. This is called name. The block name, the table name dot item number is equal to parameter. This parameter I am assigning like this. This is the way we can do it. The, this is this is I am assigning it. Another method is using property palette using object navigator for parameter here. Yeah. Click create, click it here and use the parameter and put name as what? What is the name? P underscore department number. This is department number. Parameter data type is number. Maximum length I given 2 and parameter initial value 10. Why I am doing this? The reason here is nothing but you can see I am what is my idea of the parameter report is nothing but this is my department number. Whenever I click employee information, the employee table for what department number here. This department number I click 40. The 40 department all information operation person, this information should come in the department block. That is my idea. So here what a department table, department number is what the starting with 10, 20, 30 number data type. And then maximum length is what? 2. That's why I given 2. Initial value I am giving first department number. That is the reason. So based on, this is not compulsory. Based on your, whatever you are using. That way you can do. So here in the department table I am using number. In the department number, my maximum length is 2. Initial value I am giving 10. So what is parameter procedure? How to add parameter procedure is nothing but there is four list list key param type parameter restriction a parameter can consider zero or more parameter i can create what more than one parameter like that parameter one two like that i can create so that's what he's saying you cannot create a parameter list if one already exists so same name i can't even give so pause here to avoid the error what we can check whether the c if parameter list already exists if parameter already exists delete using what destroy parameter list. You cannot add parameter type data parameter uh, if the parameter list is being formed. Otherwise, it is what? Text parameter. There is two types of text underscore parameter, data underscore parameter that we are using. What is list? Because each and every one we are saying. What is list? E. What is parameter type? What is text? Each one. What is list? It is name of the parameter list. What is we are comparing? The key is nothing but name of the parameter. Specify the parameter list which the parameter is assigned. Actual parameter can be either. That way it is placed. So we can see our coding. Our coding I will show it here. Then you can understand very easily. The parameter whatever it may be. I will show here. When uh, the button pressed. Also PLSQL editor. What is my add parameter? I will show add parameter. P underscore ID. P underscore ID is nothing but what? This is my ID here, whatever I am giving, param list. I am declared as param list. So, this is what the first one, add parameter. This is my name of the parameter list. Whatever I created, you know, the P underscore department number. Here you can see P parameter name, name, P underscore department number. This is a name of the parameter. That's what name, P is nothing but name. This is nothing but parameter list is a data type. I declare param list. So, the or the where character name of the parameter and param type to specify one of the following two types whether it text parameter or a department a data underscore parameter. By, the, by general, we are using text underscore parameter. Whenever we are pausing only, we are using data underscore parameter. Here we are using what text underscore parameter only. We are saying text underscore parameter. We are two car department number. Why two car department number? You can see. Here value, the actual value entered passed to the called module. If you are passing the text, what, text parameter, text means what, character. So actually our uh, values are what, number, number data. That's why we are changing what, two there. That's what, 
data type is the value to the where cap. So that's why we are using where cap. Because here what I given, I given as a number. So that's why I am changing it to see that. This is for the parameter. And here if you see get parameter. What is get parameter list? Search the list of parameter list and return the parameter list ID. When find valid parameter list with a given number. You can define a variable of a parameter list to accept return value. So return value like find function. So you can see here what is this uh, add parameter I'm doing. Here I am either exception handling I'm doing. Here I am doing what get parameter. So I am I am giving PID is what param list. So I am getting get parameter P name. Whatever the name I am giving my parameter. My parameter is a name. I am pausing the value to find the exception. So that's why I am pausing the value. Here get parameter. Destroy if not ID is not null means what? You can destroy. Otherwise if it is not null. We can see here. So PID is equal to create parameter list P name. I am creating the parameter list for P name here. That's what I am doing here. Here explanation is given. The variable that keeps your parameter name. Name of the parameter. Here using the name of the parameter. By default is varchar. That's what I am doing here. Whatever I am doing here means. That's why PID what is the value. I'm doing here. So here you can see here. Next slide. What is that get parameter? And then form success. What is form success? This is like one exception handling. Use form success to test outcome of a filtering to determine further processing within any trigger. To get correct result, you must perform the test immediately after. Otherwise, what? It caused the error. So here we are using in this coding, what I am doing, I am explaining what is available in the system. If not, suppose I am following what? If I click this button, it will call department dot component. If it is not opening, what it will do? It will find this error. That is, if not form success, then error unable to open the department form. That way I given. So exception handling, I am giving error unable to create parameter list. That way it will give the exception handling list here. Yeah. So this is what I am doing here. So I am explaining what is each and every one. So if the another action occurs, form access may not reflect the status of the built in any case and but of the more recently executed action. Where I got this uh, coding and this idea is everything oracle is hat dot com chapter 22. If you want to refer you can refer this book. This is a parameter speaking form. We are giving clearly step by step how to do how to do all these things. It is working as a system. So but I uh, did little bit modification in my form designing. That what I did. Here you can see how I will create this step, by step. step number one. You create data block M. After employee creating, you should create a control block. You can I can show the employee layout editor. You can see here in the layout editor. I have created the employee layout tabular form. Here I created button. That button in the control block. In the control block button, what I did was I created the button. When button press trigger, I have the this value, whatever this. Before that, what first we want to do is here we should create what whatever it may be, we should create our parameter list. That is very, very important thing. Parameter list you should create. First you create where parameter list, which department. This is employee thing. This is the last one you want to do. First point, what you want to do is exactly create a data block. Whatever the data block you should create. In the data block, you should do like this. In the data block, you should create what parameter list. You can see I created parameter list property panel. This is one number one step number one. First to create parameter list in the department. My actual idea is whenever I click this button, department one. So this is parameter click. Then only you can use this coding. After parameter click, you can go form instance PLS tool editor. It will give execute query. And before that, what we want to do is in the department, uh, whatever it may be, the department property here you can go. And check it here. Whatever it may be in the department, you can use like this. Where plus department number is equal to parameter dot d dot is the name of the parameter. This you should include in the where class. This is very important. You should include in the where class this particular thing. Then only it will work. So you should give the what the parameter list, whatever the uh, thing. So whatever the column department is equal to parameter dot department number. It is very important. And you can change the query data source name is what. Department is already available. Whatever it may be. If all are available here. 
so uh, everything you should be keep as it is nothing is free so after that what we should do is here you can say data black mean yes whatever inquiry or low table it is a department table department log everything you can do in the department table so automatic whatever it may be everything. only this one here you can say what the, the dml data target type should be table you should be this is you should check otherwise all are uh, same nothing to change here and this is for the item the item nothing i am doing here what i added as per the reference here i had it quit because of it. this is called quit uh, whatever it may be it is uh, exit underscore um, uh, form exit underscore form why i am using it whenever i exit again it return back to open form so here i created so this is my coding show me department information this is my when button press cl is generated you can see the coding here. full coding i think the coding only just now i explained the coding first to what i am doing i am declaring parameter list and then i am getting the parameter list after that what i am doing if not null then i am doing after that i am adding the parameter list create parameter list adding opening form the department dot fmx then uh, what i am doing if i exception handling i am what whatever is not success and then now i will compile and show what are the things this is lost step employee creating is a lost step so i am compiled and i will run the form i will show how it is working the form so this is my form so here you can see it employee form will come this is the tabular form i given the employee form you can see here this is coming what exactly i want to do is suppose i am using 30 here i will show me department information 30 it will go to open another form 30 information is coming if i quit again it come to this form because what why it is again coming this for me as per my knowledge i given what open form already in tutorial 35 i clearly given difference between open form and the new form open form if you form if you open the form it is always in the memory so once i quit department it is coming to where employee only. so again i will show you yeah so again now 40 is over now i will open 20 i'll show you see 20 is over here suppose how exception handling is working that i want to show you here i can see what i am doing i will delete this i am giving wrong fms form so form success not open so i compile there mark then i will this is it so this is coming here i want to do exception handling this is my the uh, form the form success how it is form success is working can see exit query here i are i'll click 30 now now i show you to see cannot read form e tutorial department form. cannot read i'll give okay you see unable to open department form error where this error i am getting from here you see that my form success error you can see it is giving that error unable to open the para, para department number if not form success then this message will write so unable to go parameter this is way it will do the parameter list. so that's what this uh, information is so unable to create parameter can you see exception handling exception handling also working fine that is our parameter. so this way we can use the parameter list and we can do the parameter. this is a uh, this uh, here what we learned here is nothing but actually how to use the uh, parameter and how to use the exception handling and 